the best part of this apartment for me is this kitchen area it's it has everything a functional kitchen should have hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is mariam i am an international student from nigeria living in Monty, new brunswick canada and i'd like to welcome you to this empty apartment tour so before we left nigeria we checked online and found this apartment on facebook marketplace um, when it was advertised it was still under construction um, they had finished the building itself but the inner fittings and finishings were still ongoing um, so we started the conversation with the property owners and uh, signed the lease filled all the lease forms answered all the questions spent in our account our banking statements and all that and then we started the process, um, paid the, the security deposit in January just to secure the apartment. The initial plan was for them to open the apartment in May, but I guess because a lot of people wanted to move in in April, they had to try as much as possible and promised us that the house would be ready in, in April. But when we landed, because our flight landed really late, about 12 a.m. Um, the day we landed, 12 midnight, we went to an Airbnb, we also booked an Airbnb for three nights so that we at least we have a place, a house that is fully furnished uh, to rest and then to start all our movements and everything we needed to do. So we moved in here after the, um, the Airbnb expired. So we've been here, the apartment is still empty. We only have just the mattress for now. We're still trying to buy things, um, furniture, furniture into the apartment and other things, beddings and all that. We've been online searching yeah, um, they're trying to do all that. So without much ado, I would uh, take you through different parts of the apartment. It's still empty, pretty much empty. We just have our personal effects and our clothing scattered all over the house now. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so you, when you enter through the main door, the front door, you come in through the door, the first door, the first door on the left is the laundry room let's go inside and see what's here so this is the laundry room but we still have all our bags here we are using it as a storage for now because we haven't done any any laundry this apartment didn't come with any washer or dryer some apartments in canada i hear come with washers and dryers maybe in other provinces but most of the apartments we saw here and looked at online did not come with one Therefore, we have to buy a washer and dryer. We are looking out for, for, for one to buy. Um, and then we are currently putting our jackets here. We've not been able to get hangers to, to put our jackets. Once we're able to get hangers, our jackets will be here. And then when we do our laundry, we can hang them out here to dry out a bit. It's cold here. There's no heater in this room. So yeah, the washer and dryer hookups are already there. Once we have the washer and dryer, we would would um, let the apartment managers know and they would come inspect and to make sure that there's no leakage during installation so we're going to have to buy that and i think this is the heating system of the apartment um, this is where it is installed as well that keeps the apartment warm yeah so let's go to the best part of this apartment for me is this kitchen area it is it has everything a functional kitchen should have, you know, like a modern kitchen. There's a lot of storage here. I brought all my spices from Nigeria. You know, us Nigerians, we love, we love, we love the taste of home. So everything I brought from Nigeria is here in terms of spices. There's more storage here. So we don't have to have things hanging out everywhere. And this is the gas stove. Uh, we've, we've used it and we've been cooking here. It has an oven, a very big, large oven here as well. It's really good. Like cooking here gives me joy. I, I enjoy cooking here. And then we have some cutlery here. Some I brought from home. Um, I bought this cutlery organizer um, from Walmart the other day and some wooden spoons. There's so much storage, which is one thing I love about this place. There's a lot of storage. We keep things here and here as well. There's a lot of space to store things. There's a lot of space to store stuff. Um, this is the refrigerator. 
and it also has a freezer here there's food here i bought this chicken the other day from walmart my beans from home is here all my dry fish is here i don't want to hear any story that food has spoiled spent a lot of money buying these things <laughs> yeah so this fridge is, is beautiful and i think we can get water directly from the refrigerator as well by pressing here and also ice it also produces crushed ice as well this is the bigger part of the storage the pantry everything i brought from nigeria food wise is here you know the worst thing that can happen to you is to come to canada without food or your nigerian food you cannot be dealing with cold and hunger at the same time it's better choose your battle very well so i brought food i brought my children's cereal at least what they are used to so that before they start getting used to the food here we have our uh, the taste at what our taste buds is used to so yeah nigerian food everything here there's gary there's crayfish i'm going to do another video to detail everything i brought from home yeah this is the kitchen we still have a lot of storage there's a dishwasher here we haven't used it but i'm sure we will someday soon so the kitchen is very very functional like very functional so many space to store things lots of storage spaces shelves and all that and then the top i think the top is extendable you can extend it and just yeah just wash i love this kitchen uh this, this has to be one of the best kitchens I've, i have ever been in and owned yeah so when we move from the kitchen and then this island area too so we can eat here we're going to get like bar stools so that we can flooring it brings out cold and warm water so that's when the weather is too cold you can use warm water to wash this is this is this is good the kitchen is lovely and then there's a place where you can put some trash more storage here more storage there's a lot of storage so you don't have things hanging around and then here is the dishwasher we haven't used it yet but it's here for our use i'm sure we'll use it one of these days but yes i love this place and these lights are so beautiful this um pendant lighting i think that's what it's called but this is the best part of the house for me it's it's cozy it's just it makes you want to cook like because you have all the equipment you need everything in, in its place it's just very very good for me so let me take the living area the living room so this is where our couch will be we're going to have a tv here maybe a, a reading table and a desk for work or study just a computer table there the tv is going to be on this side of the apartment yeah so yeah i think it's quite spacious it's okay for what we need we don't need, to, don't don't need too much but it's fine it's fine the space is good we love the space yeah and we go into the kids room okay, um, sorry i need to check my mic here well like i we said into the kids room it is yeah. about the noise ahead because they are playing here and jumping this is the only mattress we have for now we've all been managing here somehow just squeezing in until we're able to buy other things it's been we've been checking online spending a lot of time online don't we yeah so this is what the kids wardrobe look like so they're going to have their bed here and a dresser as well somewhere in the room so we just put up their their things up a bit but it's still going to be organized better later Jaden, careful okay okay so let's go to the master bedroom yeah so this this is the master bedroom yep this is the space we still have all our bags on the ground there's nothing here you can see that the window is still open the window blinds have not been set up yet they've not been fixed they promise to come either today or tomorrow this week anyway to fix it but we are not sleeping here yet we will just put the mattress in the living room at night to sleep so we have a bed here we have a dresser maybe maybe a nightstand somewhere but this is this is the master bedroom and the one part i love again is the walk-in closet that is attached to this room yeah still not arranged everything we just dump stuff here yeah so this is the walk-in closet in the master bedroom mm, it's going to it's going to be better organized um when we are fully settled we'll get hangers and hang our stuff 
here. This part is my husband's part, and this is my part. We'll try to manage this space. <laughs> and here is our bathroom. I love this bathroom. Everything in this house is just is white, it's shiny, it's new. This is the mirror. We have storage here to keep some things that we need in the bathroom. There's a lot of storage everywhere. There's space to store stuff, and we'll try as much as possible not to clog the space with un unwanted things. And then this is the shower. The door slides like this, close and open. When you're in the shower, you can close so that they don't spill water on the ground. So everything is just just cute. It's, it's really nice. It's impressive. It's very modern, which is what we were going for when we were looking for a space. We didn't want an old house. It's a new house, so everything is white and nice. This is what the kids' room look like. I'm going to do another video when we have fully furnished it, but let me show you what the bathroom looks like. So this bathroom is the kids' bathroom and also serves as the visitor bathroom as well. Yes, this is what it looks like. This is the sink area. This is the, it has a bathtub. We're going to get the shower curtain and railings to cover it eventually. And there's still some storage here. Same thing as ours for the storage. Yeah, they love it. Like even my younger son is now using the bathroom more because he's been potty trained. So he wants to always come to the bathroom because it's nice and new. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Everything is cute and just comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. The last place I'll show you is the balcony, porch, veranda. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Okay. We haven't cleaned the ground yet because it's cold. We don't sit here yet, but um, there's some space here during the summer. I'm sure we can hang out here to just for some air. It's a very big apartment building, but this is we have this space to ourselves as well. And uh, this is the surrounding area. There's still some work going on. You see some trailers. This is a sixth floor apartment or so. So I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah. So yes, that's what our apartment looks like, the empty apartment tour. The thing I would like to drop here is to let parents, we parents who have like little kids to always um, ensure that you state it when you're applying for apartments because for us it works very well that we we stay on the ground floor, like the very very ground floor and it was one of the questions that we were asked like what are the age age brackets of your kids and we told them so this ground floor is for people with family especially they call them family units especially people with little kids um the age of our kids they are less than six and less than three so that's my son <laughs> So yeah, he has turned up the lights. All right, I'll see you guys in another video. Please like and share this video. Sorry about the changing lights. My kids are at the back and it's stopping the light switch. Like and share this video. Leave a comment down below. And please subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so that when I upload new videos, you get notified. I'll see you again. Bye.